So there's loads of cruise news updates. Join us as we keep you informed with the latest news from all of the major cruise lines, including one line who has surprisingly retracted their cruise protocols. Well, ahoy there, cruisers. cruisers. Before we begin this cruise news roundup, make sure you hit that subscribe button below to keep on top of what is going on in the cruise world. Really helps us out, guys, so click the button now. So that headline story with one cruise line taking down their protocols. Well, Carnival Cruise Line is apologising for prematurely posting its COVID health and safety protocols. These protocols were expected to be put in place when they resume sailing whenever that may be. Cruise lines have to post their information for their passengers, which is required as part of the Centres for Disease Control's conditional sail order, which we've told you about before. But in a U-turn, this was quickly took down after Carnival said that information had not been finalised. So why on earth was it put up in the first place? Well, Carnival talked to cruiseradio.net and said, in our haste to keep guests and travel agents informed, we posted some information that was not finalised. As we have said previously, guests should expect to wear masks, testing, distancing and other protocols. They intend to provide more details over the coming weeks as they work to resume operations. But yeah, what a U-turn. Yeah, what a strange uh, U-turn that is to put them up, then take them down a premature posting. Yeah, we did take a look at the protocols and it seems that some of the protocols did not meet the CDC conditional sale order. So we think they're going back to the drawing board and working on them again. As you know, the CDC has been particularly hard on cruise while letting other forms of vacation and transport operate with close to zero rules or regulations. There was lots of discussion about the policies online, especially a section stating that venues would have reduced capacities and the possibility of a reservation system to use areas around the ship, such as pools, casinos, gyms, restaurants, bars, and entertainment venues. So basically, looking like, it didn't quite say that, but looking like you're gonna to have to book absolutely everything. So how do you feel about this? Would you be okay with booking absolutely everything? It would make the vacation a little bit less last minute and sporadic you would have to organize everything advance but basically they're saying no booking no access so would this put you off cruising at the moment yeah what happens if you forget to book or you don't book quick enough and you've got nothing booked what do you do then absolutely yeah it could be very much like the disney world way of doing things with fast passes and things you've got to organize everything oh 160 days in advance yeah. it's quite um where do you want to be and what do you want to eat in six months time well the thing is we like to do things last minute so we're quite sporadic aren't we we don't yeah. over plan we know where we're going to be each day according to the ports but we don't plan anything in advance do we yeah and what happens if you've had a long day and you sometimes you want to take a night off take a nap sometimes you feel a bit bored and want to go and do something that's the whole great thing about cruise isn't it that yeah. you've got all them facilities just a couple of steps away and this kind of takes away a lot of that freedom. Next up, news from Royal Caribbean. They have confirmed some things despite the uncertainty of the COVID pandemic. So before the pandemic hit, Royal Caribbean had lots of plans on the drawing board, including new terminals, massive ship upgrades, and much more. Yeah, they actually had over 20 projects on the drawing board prior to the pandemic, but lots of these upgrades and projects have been put on hold during the pandemic. But they have now came out and just whittled this down to just two projects. So just 10% of the projects going ahead. So first of all, they're gonna push ahead with the building of the new port of Galveston terminal, which can accept Oasis class ships, so the biggest ships in the world. The project had been delayed almost a year, but construction will now begin on April the 1st. That's not an April Fool's joke. Yeah. It's actually starting on April the 1st. So the other project is actually a development at Freeport in the Bahamas. You might remember a while ago, they bought some land. Basically, it's a $300 million development. The project will redevelop the Freeport Cruise Terminal and include a one-of-a-kind hotel, convention center, water adventure park, and more. This sounds really exciting. We can't wait to see more about this project. Could we see Royal Caribbean Cruise slash Hotel Bricks become a thing? Yeah, it's very interesting, isn't it? It seems that they're diversifying their portfolio into other forms of vacation. Yeah, like cruise and stay. So you stay a while on the Bahamas and enjoy the water park and the, the very um, unique hotel there. That sounds great. 
So next, let's get an update about the uh, cruise and Canada situation that we told you about on our last video. So last week, we brought to you the sad news that cruising would not be possible in Canada and New England until at least March 2022, as Canada has banned all cruise ships from their waters. So this was due to the Passenger Vessel Services Act of 1886. Some people call this the Jones Act, that's actually the cargo part of it, but it's exactly the same. In a nutshell, it means cruise ships leaving and returning to a US port must visit a foreign port on their sailing, this foreign port being Canada for New England and Alaska. So Canada has banned all cruise ships carrying over 100 passengers from its waters. So defending the controversial move, Canada's Minister of Transport, Omar Alibra, said this is the right and responsible thing to do. Now, we agree with that. We think they should ban cruising. But why all the way into March 2022? It is so far off. We don't know what the situation will look like then. For example, it's it's 13 months away. 13 months ago, the pandemic hadn't even started. We predict that flying in and out of foreign countries from Canada will be allowed way before that date. For some reason, governments are constantly picking on cruising, even though it will be the safest form of transport when it returns, when it's right to return. We're not saying it should return right now. We're saying when it's right to return, it will be. Yeah, the Cruise Line International Association association, more commonly known association, more commonly known as CLEAR, agree with us saying that they understand the reasoning behind the move, but at the same time, they are surprised that the length of the extension of the order. So basically saying they're yeah. surprised that it's going into next year we too. can't understand it. I mean, Canada really need to get their vaccination game up and running. And we know that they're having problems there, but it's a year and a month away. That's a long time, isn't it? It is. I mean, Maybe it's a good thing, though, to know that there is going to be no cruises for a year so that the cruise lines can plan for that. But yeah. Or maybe it's just a knee-jerk move from them. Let us know what you think. But it's going to hit Alaska so hard. The cruise industry was responsible for over $1.24 billion in direct expenditures in Alaska alone, with total employment over 22,000 jobs on the line and over 1.5 billion in wages alone in the state. You guys have commented on our last video in Alaska saying how devastating this news is to your towns and your communities. Uh, it's awful to hear as well, isn't it? It's really sad to hear. So hopefully that changes. Fingers crossed that's not a definite date, that if things are starting to look good in six months or so, Canada will turn around and uh, change that date to make it a little bit sooner. But it's a long time. But it's not a complete ban though. There are some small cruise ships and cruise lines that will still be sailing in Alaska, hopefully this year. Companies such as the Small Boat Adventure Line, Uncruise Adventures, have said that they will be sailing in Alaska in 2021. So that's a little bit of good news there, isn't it? But it's still sad that 99% of all of the major cruise lines cannot cruise there. A few cruise lines such as Princess Cruises have announced that they are figuring out and thinking about what they're going to do next. And they've basically said if it carries on and they go on with this ban, it will, they will have to cancel their cruises, which is really sad. Yeah, a few of you viewers even said the only way they can see them doing it is going from LA and visiting Mexico first or going to Russia first, which I don't see happening. Or for New England, going to the, the, going to Bermuda. But again, that would take up so much of the cruise. That Yeah, exactly. Worth. And especially that we know that cruises are going to be shorter in length when they first come back. I just, it's a recipe that I don't think it's going to happen. There was also a discussion of the act being removed, but we don't think this will be a priority for the current US government. We, again, we can't see that happening. Right, next up from Princess Cruises. Princess Cruises have released a short video about how crews will look when they return to service. It looks really cool. It really highlights their ocean medallion technology and it's gonna make cruising so much safer and easier. And what's great is that they already had this in place before COVID. So using the ocean medallion before even cruising, you can do all of your pre-arrival stuff and select a window for arrival at the port. And you can even watch your safety drill on your stateroom TV or mobile device through the app. Access to your stateroom will be touchless using your Ocean Medallion wearable technology. And shopping is contactless too. Reserving theatre seats and things at bars and restaurants is really easy as well. And you can order drinks and food using the app anywhere on the ship. We used this Ocean Medallion technology in 2019 on the beautiful Sky Princess and it really is amazing. Make sure you check the video out here or here.
Next news from CMV. In some sad news, the former Columbus from the Cruise and Maritime Voyages or CMV Cruise Line is expected to be scrapped in the near future, according to sources from Cruise Industry News. The ship was built in 1988 and she'll be heading to the scrapyard in India or Turkey very, very soon. So another popular and uh, ship with a lot of history there been sent to the scrapyard. Finally, for Oceana cruisers, cruise demand is looking good and strong as their 180 day worldwide cruise for 2023 sold out in one day. Get this, the fares began at over £38,000, which is around $54,000. Wow, I wish we could afford a cruise like that wow. to you, but one day it sold out. Crazy money. Could you imagine your barbell after that cruise as well? Oh, how amazing would it be? The cruise looks fantastic. And one in five people on that cruise have even extended it further to over 200 days. Wow. wow. 200 That's days. That's the life. I think people are desperate for a cruise vacation, don't you? I mean, I know people have been stocking up on vacation days throughout <laughs> the pandemic, but that is a lot of vacation days. We couldn't take that amount of vacation days. But what do you think about that? How cool is that? So that's it for this episode. We really hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got so much great content, cruise news. And when we get back cruising, guys, we're going to have vlogs, ship tours, and so much more great uh, content. So please subscribe. And we always forget to mention it as well. Don't forget to follow us on social media. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Links are in the description section below. Go and give us a follow. And thanks so much to all of our Patreons as well. You really help us out with your support. You get loads of extra stuff, extra content behind the scenes stuff as well. So thank you so much. The captain of the week is Christine. So ahoy, ahoy. there, Christine. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising! cruising.